chocolate bars and ice cream can be as addictive as drugs. Now, some scientists think they should come with a warning. This is News Review from BBC Learning English. I'm Neil. And I'm Beth. Make sure you watch to the end to learn vocabulary to talk about this story. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and try the quiz on our website. Now, the story. The junk food you love might soon have addictive written on it. A major review has found that adding warning labels to ultra-processed food could stop people buying it. Researchers say these foods can have the same addiction symptoms as drugs. They estimate one in seven adults and one in eight children are already addicted to ultra-processed foods. You've been looking at the headlines, Beth. What's the vocabulary? We have labelled, tackle and slapping. This is News Review from BBC Learning English. Let's have a look at our first headline. This is from Sky News. Some ultra-processed foods should be labelled addictive, scientists say. So, this headline is saying that some scientists think certain types of foods, ultra-processed foods, should be labelled addictive. Addictive meaning something you can't stop doing. But we're looking at labelled, and it contains the word label, a label, something you find, for example, on your clothes or on a packet, which has some information. It does, yeah. A label gives you information about the object that it's attached to, like your shirt. Um, but here the headline is saying that ultra-processed food should literally come with a label that says addictive on it. Right, so is that it? It's very literal, it's very clear, but I bet there's a metaphorical use as well. There is, yeah. So, an, a person, an object, an activity can be labelled, and this means described in a certain way, often unfairly. For example, maybe you tell one lie and now you're labelled a liar. Were you labelled anything at school, Neil? Maybe a troublemaker? No, I wasn't labelled a troublemaker, but maybe I was labelled a clown because I used to like to make funny jokes in the class. <laughs> Yeah, OK. Let's look at that again. Let's have our next headline. This is from The Times. Label ultra-processed foods addictive to tackle obesity, say scientists. So, there's that word label again that we've just been learning about. Scientists say we should label ultra-processed foods as addictive so that we can help to tackle obesity. And tackle is the word we are looking at. Tackle is a word familiar to every football fan. It's when you try to take the ball from the opposition. Is there any connection? Kind of. So, in football, the other team are the opposition and you want to beat them. Now, in this story, tackle is used metaphorically. Um, obesity is what we want to beat or deal with, and that's why the headline says we want to tackle obesity. We need to deal with it. OK, so how else can we use tackle in this metaphorical way? Well, police might tackle crime in a city. Lots of people are doing what they can to tackle climate change. Yeah, that's right. I've started riding my bike to work to help tackle climate change. Let's look at that again. Let's have our next headline. This is from the Daily Mail. Slapping junk food with addictive warning labels could help end obesity, major review finds. So, addictive warning labels could be added to junk food. The word we're looking at is slapping. Beth, what is slap? It's this. Don't worry, that wasn't real. And slap in the headline is also not literal, it's metaphorical. So, slap here means to put a label onto the junk food quickly and urgently. Yes, that's right. So it's emphasising 
that the new labels should be added soon. It's an urgent situation and the use of slap, there's a kind of aggression about it as well. Now, Beth, can you give me 10 more examples, please? 10? We don't have time for 10 more. That's ridiculous. Well, Beth just slapped down my idea. And there's another use of slap as a phrasal verb with down, and it means to criticise someone's suggestion. Let's look at that again. We've had tackle, deal with. Labelled, described in a specific way. And slapping, attaching urgently. Now, if you enjoyed this topic, we think you'll love this episode of News Review about fast food being bad for your brain. Click here to watch. And don't forget to click here to subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.